having a career coach, if you don't know what this type of role is, this is someone that literally brings out the skills, gifts, and talents that you have and puts it very cleanly in what we call a resume, right? Or an email, you know, uh, situation or being able to extract who you are as a person, your personality and connect you to a corporation, a career, an opportunity that you can go into that you would be say qualified for you fit the personality for that role. And that could jump your income tremendously. So if you combined a career coach, right, with a financial coach teaching you the fundamental foundational principles and habits of good stewardship, plus increasing your income via that career coach, helping you actually be the one that the employer chooses. So when you submit 50 applications, 100 applications, you're not hearing crickets. Rather, you're getting a bunch of companies wanting to hire you for your talent because of the way you presented yourself, right? So you combine that with the ministry, oh, another recipe, my goodness. So I've done some market research and what I'll do is share my screen because whether I actually um, collaborate with these people or not, I'm still gonna promote them because when I do market research, these are the people that are popping up, right? So if they pop up, then they must be doing something right. If they're ranking number one on Google, number one on YouTube, different social media platforms, they must be doing something correct, right? Some type of good marketing strategy, whatever it is. So I have a few people that I have found personally. And again, whether they work with me or not, whether they partner with me or not, it's, it's totally fine it, because I want you to get access to the information. You may, you re, after watching this video, you may have never heard of a career coach before. You don't even know what the heck they do. And so like, you, you're like, what is a career coach, right? There's a whole industry of people that are helping people like you get higher paying jobs, higher paying careers just by tweaking that resume, tweaking that email, tweaking your interview, how you speak, how you present, how you dress, how you appear, all that good stuff, right? So let me take a few minutes just to share my screen and show you who I'm looking at right now, who I think has a lot of potential in this space, and then people who are just simply dominating in this space. So here we are. When I started doing my market research, I just typed in career coach on YouTube, see who pops up, right? See who's dominating in the space, see who's, you know, really putting in the work, putting in the time, all that good stuff. And the first person I found was uh, Linda, 945,000 subscribers. And when I looked through her material, it's so focused on career coaching, right? Finding the right opportunities, interviews, what to say in your emails, um, what to say during the interview, after the interview, before the interview, how to prepare. I mean, you name it. It goes on and on and on. A ton of value here if you're someone that is at a job, right, and you want to up level your skills, land a solid career, maybe transition into a new career, transition to something that you actually love to do. Here's somebody that I, I think is a no brainer. And again, when I compare to some of the other coaches in the in the marketplace, they don't come anywhere near the amount of following and the amount of content. The thing that I like most about this person is they've they've kind of just stuck, they've stayed in the career coaching space and they really didn't go all over the place in, in all these other you know topics that she could easily cover and get a lot of views on, but she just kind of stayed really clear. And, you know, how to get your dream job, right? Career, right? Job, job, career, job, job. Like, it's just, it's on and on, guys. Like, this infinite amount of content here, right? And she's continuously active. Like, she just posted today as I'm recording this video, right? So, pretty consistent in the content output. And I'm pretty sure she's on a bunch of other social media platforms as well. Probably LinkedIn, without a doubt. All that good stuff. Next person I found is this lady right here, Cindy Makita, right? This is someone I actually met in person in Miami. So I am trying to build a relationship 
there, possibly meet in person, discuss some really unique ideas. Based on her content, she's a career coach, but then she also touches on how to become a career coach and how to sell your program. So she does have other topics that she is specializing. So it's like a multitude of topics and you'll kind of notice that, you know, how to grow on LinkedIn, how to grow here, grow there. So I'm not sure how focused she is on career coaching compared to the Linda lady, right? But I have seen her work ethic. I've seen her speak and just solid individual. Then the next person I found was uh, Christina. And same thing, um, when I went to her website, all right, if we go to her website, it says Christina is a New York-based creative career coach and recruiter focusing on helping creative talent land jobs at America's most prestigious companies. So that seems like her main thing, but on the YouTube channel, she does dive into so many different types of like side hustles, different income streams. She talks about her journey and things like that. But when you hit her website, actually to reach out to her, it seems like this is her main thing that she's focused on. So I like that. Um, I put her on the list of someone I'm reaching out to. Then there's this lady here who hasn't really posted anything in a while on YouTube, right? Two years ago was the last time she posted anything. But when I went on her uh, Instagram, it does look a little bit more active over there. She does have a bigger following on Instagram. And when I hit her website, the website's pretty clean, right? If we hit her website, this doesn't look like an old site, right? She's in the press. This looks, you know, relatively updated, new, clean, right? And pretty clear in terms of what she does, right? Coaching, one-on-one career coaching, right? Signature program, career coaching. So it still looks like her main thing, even though she's not too big on the on the content creation side of things. And so there's Jenny, Christina, Cindy Makita, and Linda. Those are the four top people that rank when I typed in career coaching. And then if we just go here, career coaching, now your feed might be different, obviously, depending on what how the algorithm works and who's in your local area, things like that. There was this channel right here, Career Insights, but it, it wasn't too clear in terms of what their focus is. So then there's this guy, Bill. I didn't hit his work yet, but it does look like he is you know, in that teaching it. Then there's this lady right here, Louisa, who also is doing career coaching, but then also teaching you how to build your coaching business, All right? So it does a bit of both. Letitia Styles, pretty interesting, right? A lot of women in this space, pretty interesting. Not really seeing too many guys. There's this dude here, but I, I don't know, um, bit confusing, well, whatever it is they're doing, covering. Um, then there's this right here, Morning Brew, don't know, Natalie, right? Productivity guy. So, you know, you do your research, you see who comes up who you like who you like to work with and go from there but just so you know the this is who i'm looking at this is who i'm looking to potentially collaborate with inside of the finance geek ministry and, and the way that i'm looking at it or the way that i think would be a mutual beneficial relationship is just me creating content with them going through their process figuring out who's really just like their main thing is career coaching that's how i'm going to narrow these people down is what's your main thing right is it career coaching or is it building a business or is it helping people increase income like what's the what's the main thing that i can send my loyal clients my loyal audience to once i figure that out then it looks like collaboration virtual events workshops q a's right nothing crazy it helps them because it's more content i'm promoting them so more eyeballs are looking their way helps me because more content for myself builds the channel up and it helps the finance geek ministry do what it needs to do and do it even better right so there's win-win there and then on the back end maybe there's you know either a partnership down the line maybe sharing the stage who knows i i just see a really good connection in terms of career coach with a financial coach and just cross-pollinating the the people that we serve i see a bunch of potential there where it's like, look, as a career coach, you're not talking on management, personal financial management, financial strategies and skills. Then as a financial coach and consultant, you're not talking on really how to make more money or how to increase your position, get a promotion or help someone outline an interview resume. That's like, that's not your skills, right? So being able to collaborate in this environment today where a lot of business owners, a lot of entrepreneurs have bought into the philosophy of collaboration over competition. I bought into it. I've certainly been doing it. The Finance Geek Ministry seeks to do that as well and really just glorify the Father in all things. At the end of the day, the end game is kingdom. 
that's how I let people know that's my intent. The end game is kingdom. Even if you don't go that way, if I can help you with 90% of your problems, which is money, hey, I think that's a win, right? And then we can talk philosophical theology and spiritual and all that good stuff.